Hello everybody, thanks for coming back to watch another video. This is a Harry Potter video. I'm very, very excited about something that was just announced the other day. So I'm gonna tell you about it. First, I'm gonna show you all the Harry Potter stuff that I did. I'm wearing my new Hedwig t-shirt. I'm wearing my Time Turner. If you look up, you can see This is a beautiful print of Luna Lovegood that my friend Debbie got me for Christmas. Oh my god, you guys. I got to that point in my video and I, after I was done videoing it, I watched it. At that point, when I lifted it up to show you the video, when I put it back down, the video went like out of focus. And so I was like blurry the whole video and it's like totally not salvageable. Oh my god. So I'm doing it again. <laughs> okay. So. Um, the shirt, the necklace, I have wands over there. There are Harry Potter books propping up my camera right now. Or my phone, I should say. Um, I am drinking tea out of this Harry Potter mug, which is very, um, impractical due to the fact that it is black and it's for hot liquids, which makes it get even hotter. And it has no handle when, so you literally have to use a cloth in order to drink out of it. Not anymore though, because it totally cooled off. Okay, so, as you should know by now, since I probably mentioned her in almost every single one of my videos so far, I am a big fan of Book Roast. Um, she has her own channel and she does bookish things and unboxings and such. Her name is G and she's living in Scotland and she's a really cool chick and she invented um, these Harry Potter readathons. In April they did the OWLs um, or OWLs um, based on the wizarding test from Harry Potter. Um, it was really cool um, but I wasn't really super into YouTube until like it was already April and so she was halfway through them. Um, already when I knew about them, so I didn't do the OWLs, um, but she has made an announcement, which I'm going to link down below her video, um, for the newts. Newts are nastily exhausting wizarding tests, <laughs> and they're, um, like, much more intense than owls. For her owls test, you only had to read, um, one book, um, that fit a certain qualification that she gave to every subject in order to get an owl in it, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'd have to look back on her videos, but I'm pretty sure that was, was. like it wasn't like too demanding and you could definitely get uh, five or six owls anyways. And she um, had you say um, in like Instagram or Twitter, which she uses, um, you could send her like what house you're in and how many um, owls you achieved and she like tallied it up for everyone that participated and for the different houses. So um, I'm in Ravenclaw and so I'm, I am going to be going for three different newts for sure. So how it works is there are three pass grades. There's acceptable, exceeds expectations, and outstanding. And so you start at acceptable and you read your book for acceptable and then you can move on to exceeds expectations and then you can move on to outstanding. You can't jump straight to outstanding. So in order to get an outstanding in that particular subject, you have to read three books. So there's 12 different subjects. So I can't imagine that anyone would be getting um, 12 owls or I mean, sorry, 12 newts. So what you were supposed to do is if you participated in the OWLs, you were supposed to take those ones that you got OWLs in and those, from those you could choose which ones to try to get newts in, um, just like in, if you were really at Hogwarts. Um, but I didn't participate, so I'm just going to choose whatever. Um, I always figured if I was in Harry Potter world, um, that I would be good at potions because I'm good at math and problem solving and I'm good at, um, 
baking and cooking and following recipes and things like that. Um, so for potions, for an acceptable, you have to read um, a book that has a color in the title. So I have a book called Black Apple, which that'll be fine. Black is in the title. That's by Joan Crate, and so that's what I'm going to read for that one. For an E for Exceeds Expectations, you have to read a book with a male lead character. Um, right now, I'm reading The Magicians which by Lev Grossman, which has a male lead character. And so um, I decided for that one, for the E, I'm going to go to the library and get out the second book in that series called The Magician King. And that's the one I'll read ah. for the E. And then for an O for Outstanding, you need to read a book over 350 pages long. Um, so there's a book that I've been wanting to read. I don't have it, but it's called North of Normal and on Goodreads it has 352 pages. So that's good. So I'm thinking of actually getting that one as an audiobook, or I'd have to go to the library because I don't have it. So then I figured like if you're going to be good at potions, you should probably take an interest in herbology because then you can at least grow yourself some of your ingredients that you need. Good idea, right? Practical. So for in herbology, for a acceptable grade, you need to read a book with a green cover. So I have a book with a green cover that I have not read yet. This is called Bound South. Um, not that there's any rule that you can't reread books that you've had before. These don't have to be, it doesn't have to be new books, just um, books that fit the criteria. Um, so for an E for um, herbology, you need to read a book with illustrations. This one's difficult for me, but there's actually a book club that I'm in that chose a graphic novel for their June-July pick, um, which I was just going to skip because I'm not normally interested in graphic novels, but um, since I need a book with illustrations for this, I am going to choose it. Um, it's called Low by Rick Remender because um, otherwise I would have no idea what graphic novel to choose because I'm not even remotely interested in them. So at least I know that that's probably somewhat hyped, like if they've chosen it for a book club. So it's probably decent anyways. Um, then for an O for herbology, you need to read a book with either one of these words in the title, light, air, sun, or water. So it just has to have one of those words in the title. So I did some searching on Goodreads and I think I'm going to get out from the library A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Hosseini. Hosseini, yeah. Um, and that's going to be my pick for that one. And then I'm um, not sure if I'd be good at this if I was in Harry Potter world, but it would be definitely practical. Um, so I decided I would go for an um, a newt in charms. So for an acceptable, you need to read a book with magic in it. So I'm going to either get from the library or buy The Paper Magician, which is on my TBR. Um, for exceeds expectations, you need to read a book with a cover that charmed you. So this would be could be like a book with just a beautiful cover or a book that you bought solely based on the cover. Um, and so I have Circe by Madeline Miller, which I have and I need to read. So that's going to be my choice for that. Then for an O, you need to choose a book that you think will leave a mark. So I have, I don't have it, so I'm going to have to, again, go to the library or audiobook or bookstore, whatever. I will acquire it. <laughs> it's called, it's on my TBR, it's called The Hate You Give. Um, so those are my three. I think like, that's a that's some high standards for myself um, thinking that I'm going to be able to read nine. The fact that audiobooks count and one of the books is for sure a graphic novel makes it like slightly more attainable, but that's still a tall order for me to have to read. If I say if I did two... Even if I did three audiobooks, the one is a graphic novel, I'd still have to read five like full-size books. 
in one month. The yeah, this readathon. This is a readathon. Um, Harry Potter readathon, totally awesome. Um, taking place in August, from August first to thirty first. I'm gonna link stuff down below this video so that you can have all the original information. I don't want to link like this um, printout that she did because I don't know like she made it so you just go to her video and then underneath and then you can just print it off and this is awesome you should comment if you're interested in doing this if you're gonna do this this is so cool I'm really excited for it and she has created like um, Twitter hashtags for it and yeah like so everyone can just like talk about it together and um, you should do like if you're gonna do this do like um, video blogs like of each week as you're going through it just to share this is so awesome I'm really excited I'm prepared for it as you can see I've already chosen my books it's only the middle of June we're not doing this till August <sighs> but I'm ready I love Harry Potter I love reading this is gonna be awesome uh, let me know your thoughts down below and if you like my videos hit subscribe see you later